Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Bald and the Beautiful podcast. My name is Melissa. Oh, hello. I'm Kevin. I'm Angel. I'm Marcus. Let's do a guilty pleasure confession. Okay. Um, no. I will tell you what I've indulged in this week because no, I'm I excited. Let Kev go first. <laughs> I will tell you what. Right. Is that? Yeah. Wait, no, that was one time. It was farting, not doodle. <laughs> um, I have been uh, indulging in Christian Walker's TikTok. He is oh. the son of Herschel Walker. Oh, so he's the gay boy. Correct. Yes. And so he is telling his whole life story in parts a la Risa Tisa. Uh-huh. Uh, freaking fantastic. Okay. Okay. He's not as good of a storyteller because he kind of spoils where he's going at the top of every episode. Mm-hmm. But... Hearing his life story, how crazy his uh, uh, daddy was, according to him. All right. Uh-huh. According to him, uh, his dad was cheating and all the exes was all up and through his life. And it was it, the one of the women that was the mistress on the day he was born decided to tell his mom. So oh. they had this meeting on the day he came home from the hospital. Oh, wow. And she told, you know, the wife and like confessed all, basically and all these other women in his life and all of these characters and all this that, and the third. And I have been locked in. So the mama came, had just women. The mama had just the had the baby. Correct. Just brought him home that day. And she came to the other uh, mission came to the house. She, and, and she said, we need to talk. And then they marched into the living room or whatever. Uh-huh. And that's when they spilled the tea. But the, the dad, uh, Herschel, had been cheating on the mom unbeknownst to her for years. Oh, he had an older see. sister he ain't know about. Oh, wow. Then he lied about some other kids. And then, of course, the abortions, we all know, because he was a pro-life. Uh, mm, he was a pro- Republican and paying for abortions and sleeping with all these women. Your political stance doesn't have to be how you are in real life. Well, and that's what you learn. <laughs> that's, that's what you learn. Let me tell you what's funny, y'all. We came, I came so, on the show last night, and Melissa had the TV on, right? I and had it paused on the TV show she was watching, covered up in the blanket, sure watching was. TikTok like it was her show. She said, I'm watching my Christian Walkers. <laughs> the only thing I don't like about him, he only releases plural. like one or two, Walkers. one or two episodes oh, a day. She might as well have yeah. more than that. Plural. <laughs> and she was watching it like TV. She said, he's not that good of a storyteller, but it's kind of interesting. No, he <laughs> is. Because he comes on very exciting. He's like, uh... My dad's mistress, Martha, she's iconic. He going hard in the story. I show. said, well, yeah. tell me about Martha. A lot of people are doing uh, their attempt at Risa Tisa. Well, yeah. one, because TikTok is paying out better if you're doing longer form co- content. Yes. And so storytelling is an easy way to get that, that videos to be long. They're like, let me tell you how I was messed up in life. TikTok, give me some money. Yeah. Yeah. And I want money. the brand deals. I want everything Risa got. Yeah. 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 So he's great. If you haven't, his name is Christian Walker on um, the TikTok. He, as of last night, he only put out 12 parts, but I feel like he's been doing this for like the past like four or five days. And I'm just kind of like, Christian, I don't know what you're doing every day, but I need you to stop doing that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sit in your car for three hours and just let's bang it out. And everybody wants to do it in the car. I want the scenery to change. Yeah. Everybody Uh, is doing it. The car is a good acoustically. I mean, I did a lot of videos in my car for that reason only because it it doesn't it's not echoey. It's not echoey. You can't hear it. I used to do car videos. What's the thing? We all did it. Periscope. 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 Thank Periscope. you. Periscope. I was, hey, my platform was built. Not me in that car. Periscope. I, I wish I wouldn't have. Star- I did it like for two years. I went live every day for mm-hmm. 30, 45 minutes. A lot of people who was in the stage crew was on them. Come uh, from there. Yeah, I was on my Periscope. I did, well, strong. Periscope. I did it for a very long time and then was just like, okay, let me go back to Instagram. Uh, yeah. Here. Well, I didn't have time. Instagram me. Yeah. Once they folded it into Twitter, something happened to it. Yeah, I think that's when I stopped. Yeah. I was just like, I don't understand. Yeah. yeah. Don't understand. What's your guilty pleasure? Go for it. My guilty pleasure. You know what? I like to do when I'm busy doing stuff. I like to have background noise on. Uh-huh. Or by the end of the day, I want to wind down. <laughs> Similar to what you do, except I be watching. Uh, I like to watch reruns. So if it ain't Martin, it's King of Queens, and everybody <laughs> loves Raymond. This is his but shows. what I will do, folks love everybody. Love, yeah. Only Hold people up. love that show. It's okay. funny, but what I do is I'll be, be busy doing something. It's usually on TV land. I'll put it on. Pause you it. You old. You old. Uh-huh. You shouldn't have said pause TV it. land. Yes, it what, TV land? You shouldn't have said TV that's, land. That's, real, that's old. real old. What else is it on? I don't know. Just leave the that detail that out. Know, the TV land is like, here goes old. That's yeah. Nick at night level. 
All right, but it's on there. Hey, hey, if, if Martin was on TV land, y'all niggas be over there watching. It. <laughs> I'll pause it, go do what I'm doing, so that way I can fast forward past commercials. So I, I have it paused for like hours. I'll go be, I'll leave the house, go do something, come back, wait, and wait, build wait, up, wait, go wait, work wait. on the old school. Wait, wait, wait. This is a hack. Say it again, it's so I understand. Hack. I feel like you're giving a hack, but I need you to say it clear. So our regular TV I said it clear. is YouTube. Okay, YouTube, YouTube TV. TV. This, uh, but I so can't wait like, to explain how old he is. Go ahead. Okay, because it's like regular, cha- you know, it's regular TV channels. Okay, so I'll because I watch, go on there. I watch the games, like the NBA games, or whatever. But before that, you know, I'm just busy doing stuff. So uh-huh. I'll pause it on there. King Queens. Everybody loves Raymond. Sure. I'll just go do whatever I got to do, and by the time Ooh, I come back, I can just watch the show, fast forward past the commercials. Do you know what you could do that would be easier? What? Just press record, and they'll record all of those shows. Nah, I ain't doing all that. He got a whole setup, Angel. Let that man do what he wants. Press record. Play the episodes when he's on. No, he don't want to do it like that. Because I'm not that invested into it. I like to press pause and come back. Go, pause. Go on, do what I'm doing. Ain't nobody in the house gonna mess with the TV. You don't know. I'm gonna you do it gone. Every time. Kids is gone. I'm gonna come back and before I'm gonna, back I'm gonna before start the throwing away every roach looking eyelash I find on the ground. Don't okay, that, that was violent. No, yeah, that's yeah, that was that was a little bit violent. Uh, really, personal? Yeah. When I'm just eyelashes are very expensive. That's, actually, that's a guilty pleasure. I've been a couple times. Away. I've done <laughs> seen. It's never a pair. It's just one. Because oh, it's always one that get it's away. Just one. On the it's counter, always just one that get on away. On the floor of the car. There's one in my cup holder in the car. It got attached to something as I was coming out. Because the, gl- the glue, yeah, yeah, yeah the glue we, be no, sticking to stuff. Angel's best friend came out here. We had one in the driveway. Did she dropped it? Erica did. Erica did that. Oh, lash! It survived the rain. It did. It survived it the survived wind. The That's rain. a good lash. Yeah. Can you stand Cars the driving past. It. I said, "Who? Why is this lash? Why did they lift it at I night?" Thought it was her. She said, "Erica dropped it." And I walked. They out. will be right there if you don't <laughs> pick them up. Going nowhere. No, yeah, they, they won't stay on your eye, but they will stay on that. Oh, yeah, they hold on to God's unchanging hand. Okay. They do. During the they pandemic, do. one was on our washing machine for a minute. I was doing a little series of eyelashes. You should have given back to me because sometimes yeah. eyelashes can get very thank expensive. You. They said Powell's and is recording, Angel. Not if you turn, not if you change Ooh. the channel. Not Ain't nobody changing the channel. I'm going to come uh, and change Marcus, it. Marcus, you can set up the way you want. Yeah. Or you could buy a DVD player and get <laughs> <laughs> programs and put it on there. Oh, I posted oh, no. it. Did you hear about this? No. Angel's mom went to London. She told us on the podcast. Went to London, bought her a, mini, a DVD player, the old school one, and bought, the uh, was it Murder, She Wrote? Seasons 1 through 12. Murder, she uh-huh. wrote, and then Very. try to put Bluetooth headphones with them. She said, said Victory told me I changed the Bluetooth. I said, that's not going to work up. with this. You ain't going to go on that. She was uh, proud of how light the DVD player was. <laughs> she she said, feel Mark, it. feel how light it is. And I pick it up, and I said, yeah, it's light, but it's enormous. <laughs> it was. It I was. said, styrofoam is light, but it can be the size of his couch I'm sitting on. <laughs> it's hilarious to me. But what was funny about it is on the side, you know how everything has a button to turn off and on? Yeah. It had a switch. Oh my Off God. and on switch. It worked. And the then funny all, thing is the, all the things that you could plug into the side of it, it had every option available to me. <laughs> HDMI. There was a time when that was the thing to have. Yeah, oh, yeah. I never even had enough money to have one. I remember I was magazines and books on the plane. Mm-hmm. I wanted a DVD. Because you remember on the plane, it was, we choosing this movie. There's three TVs. Yeah. Right. Every 15 seats or so, plug this in and shut your mouth. Yeah. The fact hey. of the matter is, is that my mother was flying first. We flew them first class. <laughs> That's what oh, I was going to ask. Did they not have had, TVs on there? No, we flew them first class. She had TV on the international flight. 100 But they don't have Murder, She Wrote on there, do they? The probably but that's not. True. Okay, then, hush. I it doesn't stream <laughs> on some. Yes, it does. It actually. I is, told you, it, you could. I said. I had already main, told you. The this. main reason I have a tablet is to download movies and I can. It wasn't on all Prime, I have before. is the problem. <laughs> she looked on Prime first. <laughs> <laughs> and Prime was it didn't have all of the seasons. The screen but she swivels. Could buy the, yeah, you could turn like it. Well, if you up. could turn the When's screen. When's the last time you pressed a button and something opened? <laughs> <laughs> when I did that, that's an old nostalgia. It said, whoosh, she I was said, like, oh it, yeah. She said, put the DVD in there and, and press play and see. And it played. It played loud. I was like, <laughs> you hear that? You hear that? Uh, that upload. Yeah. <laughs> First of all, that sound is durability, though. <laughs> because these devices, I dropped my phone just yesterday. 
broke. Oh, mine is the same the, way. Your mom if could a, drop a, that DVD player correct. from that If flight. it makes that sound, that's good bonage. <laughs> go bonage. That's good bonage. 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 <laughs> this episode is sponsored by BetterHelp. As you guys know, we're huge advocates of therapy over here. Kevin and I actually have marriage therapy every single Monday without fail. It's a great opportunity to not only discuss problems or issues that we have that maybe we have a hard time um, fleshing out, but it's also the unspoken part of therapy, a great time to acknowledge how far you have come. We recently had a um, therapy session and we were talking about some things and our therapist literally stopped us and was like, you guys handled that really well. I'm like super proud of you guys. You guys should like give yourself a round of applause. And it was like, oh my God, we have. And sometimes I think we only think about therapy in terms of like our issues and we bring our problems, but it's also a great way to celebrate um, and recognize how far you've come. And sometimes it's hard for you to do that in real time and like to recognize your progress, but to have an outside person do that for you is like really great as well. In addition, obviously, to helping you um, with issues or other things that you may be going through as well, right? So um, we have definitely benefited from therapy. Again, we do it every single week. We recommend if you are a married couple or in any serious relationship um, to do therapy on a weekly basis. You do not and you should not wait until you are in dire straits. You should arm yourself with the tools today uh, so that way when a uh, conflict arises, you already have them in your back pocket and they'll help you, you know, go through those issues and those problems a lot faster. All right. So find your social sweet spot with better help. If you're thinking of starting therapy, give better help a, a try. It's entirely online. It's designed to be convenient, flexible and suited to your schedule. Like I said, we do do therapy every uh, Monday and my son actually has soccer during that time. So we're not able to be together. But because everything is online, I'm able to do it or Kev, whoever takes Joe to soccer practice in the car while we're at soccer practice and while the other person is at home. And it's no problem. We do not have to match up our schedules to be at the same place at the same time, which is super, super convenient and sometimes necessary. The reality is you're busy, I'm busy, and you kind of need that flexibility. All you're going to do is fill out a questionnaire to get matched with the licensed therapy and you can switch therapists at uh, any time for no additional charge. And that is an important process. You shouldn't be intimidated um, about the process of finding a therapist. You just need someone who gets you, you get them, um, you jive with them, you gel with them. And it just makes sense because you don't want a therapist that you don't gel with because it's just going to make things really, really hard for you. OK, and so you shouldn't be ashamed if it didn't work. It didn't work. And BetterHelp will help you break up with your therapist and you don't have to worry about it. So this is what I need you to do. Find your social sweet spot with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp dot com slash tbtb today to get 10 percent off your first month that's better help help dot com slash tbtb thank you so much to better help for sponsoring today's episode go ahead what's your uh <laughs> guilty oh i don't know um uh, i don't know what my guilty pleasure is i feel like i've been doing so much i ain't got to have no pleasure your weed that? tea my no that's not a guilty cigars because right you don't smoke uh, it's not cigars negro what's my guilty pleasure right now well, for a while there was blow drying my hair because y'all know I don't ever get to see my hair straight. Okay. So, uh, but I was so afraid that my curls weren't going to come back this morning. They, my hair was so straight this morning after I washed it. I said, oh no. But my it's curled up now. Yes, thank God. It, it happened finally in the middle of here's the thing. It finally got to its curls. I was like, oh, I was so worried. It was nice to have my hair straight for a little bit. Did you enjoy it? I did. But then I sweated out within a couple of minutes. The yes. inside of my hair was so curly and slash nappy. I was like... <laughs> Why can't I have fun too? <laughs> but it, it did what needs to be done during the ND. In what is it called? NAACP. In, I wanted to say NDA uh, weekend so bad. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were trying to say enduro. In the non-disclosure, <laughs> yes, I uh, wanted to say NDA weekend good. was so good. Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. This is forty years of hugs in hindsight. Yes. I think that title is so cute. I'm it so is, sorry. I'm going to pause every single time I say it because I just so think good. we should just, Precious. Yeah, that I feel like it is. It is. <laughs> People are going to be so angry when this ends. They're going to be sorry. like, 40 years of hugs and hindsight, Melissa, I'm and we we'll only get three months of it. Yeah, I'm so sorry. Hopefully. But y'all sent some good questions. So <laughs> which transition was harder for you in terms of kids going from zero to one, one to two? You, you could Ooh, change you your numbers. One to three, or, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Or three to four. Zero to one, right? Zero to one. Mm -hmm. It's like it's the change of having to be responsible for someone like solely. 
and when I say solely, I'm you know about both mm-hmm. of us. Um, is unlike no other. It's like real, real. I think we understand what it means to be parents, but then when they let you go home, it's yeah. like y'all for real. Ain't nobody coming to get this child yeah. for me, and ain't y'all no, are trusting me to do right by ain't this no child. Ain't no nurse gonna come in here and check. Yeah, that blew my. That was a little bit like. Are y'all for real though? Yeah. Kev always talks about how the much training you get. Like we worked at, uh, or I worked at KFC. He worked at Burger King. How to work the fire, how to work the cash register, the understanding of, I worked at KFC. So Harmon, you get all of this training. When you have a baby, they just be like, girl, go figure it out. Yeah. It's like mind blowing. But at the same time, you know, we, I think they're, I think because communally, if we go way, way back, it was something that we witnessed up close. Like, I mean, granted, you are the oldest of your siblings, but if you had any older cousins or aunts that had kids like at a, mm-hmm. later in life, you would have seen motherhood in action to mm-hmm. the point like uh, you wouldn't need necessarily to be trained in it because you've done it for so long. But we are in a different time in the 2000s. We not as like communal as we used to be to where mm-hmm. we see all this stuff all the time. So we do feel like y'all ain't going to give me no manual. None. You just. None. Was it was one nah, to three? For or me, one, it was three. from going from one to three. From uh, uh, Because I. And you're instantly outnumbered. Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. It's always more. It's always helpful to have more adults than kids. But going from one to three. um, I relatively wasn't as a responsible father with having one as I had had to be with the, the having three, you know, mm-hmm. having the twins. Cause I was new to it. Same as angel. So I was just out here like, Oh right, yeah, we got a kid, but I was still carrying on the way I normally did. <laughs> right. Then I realized when she was like, Hey, I need help. I was like, that's when it was the reality of, yeah. oh, crap, I need to step in for real, for real. Like, yeah. I didn't know I was slacking off in these departments. Mm-hmm. Uh, so once I realized that, I was like, yeah, this is. Mm-hmm. It's real. Mm-hmm. It's a lot. The other thing I think that is also so scary is you guys both watch the um, the Nickelodeon dog on the set, quiet on set, whatever it's called. We ha- I haven't watched it because no, I'm like. Uh, we but- talked about it last week. Actually, okay. So you know did. enough. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think the the fear of like having this child that you have to protect yes it's also even to this day you know isaiah and joe are 17 and 15 and i still feel this like i don't know this stress to protect like even mm-hmm. in that the documentary when we were, uh drake's father mm-hmm. uh, was talking about you know he just knew and i was like literally like what i have known what would i have done if i was you know drake's girlfriend's mom what would i have done there like oh, yeah. the, it's clearly a fictitious scenario I'm putting myself in but I was like literally stressing myself Mm -hmm. about like if I was in this position what would I have done that's also like a strain of having one two three four five six seven eight nine ten kids that's just a stress that you have oh yeah I had a full-blown panic attack when Marcus took his trip to Washington DC last year to the point that my therapist had to give me like multiple tools so that I wouldn't work myself up into a tizzy like that like I couldn't get no sleep I was just like, oh, what happens if the plane and the da da da? And this was just while he was traveling on the plane through the night. Mm-hmm. When he got to DC, I was fine, but there was like this overwhelming, like, what are you going to do? You can't do anything. Now, this trip to London, I was like, okay, if my mama's there, then I know my mama loves him as much as I love him. So he's, he has a mom like figure, but just the thought of me not being in the space with them if something goes wrong literally can paralyze me with fear Mm -hmm. that I'm just like I would have never happened had I not decided to have kids I would not be this bad I'd be like everybody be fine yeah Mm. yeah uh me I not as bad but I go through that whether it's the kids or angel Mm -hmm. like traveling without me even angel go across town without me I don't like it Mm. Uh, them to even going to school like stuff not, I don't think of the worst, but scenarios go through my head. Like, how quick can I get to my kids? Mm-hmm. If there's something happens, how quick can I get to them? If it's the, you know, the worst comes to worst, am I going to have to fight police to get on campus? Like, because yeah. I'm, I'm going to get to my children. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, I definitely, I understand the fear. I think it's, it's got to be, a, hopefully it's a common fear because parents can't just be out here. No, no, no. Really, really. Well, I mean, whatever. Drake's mama clearly didn't have no fears, but well, uh, yeah, yeah. On that one, I, like I said, I haven't seen that, but I couldn't. Imagine. Oh, that's one thing we talked about when uh, uh, they were saying that he 
I guess the dad was telling him, like, I just wanted to protect you, and luckily he didn't get to you, and he was like, actually, he did. Mm -hmm. As a parent, that's your only, at least speaking as a father, that's your only priority is making sure you keep your children safe. To find out you failed, I don't care how much time it passed. I'm going to end up doing something to that man. Yeah. <laughs> and can you imagine the like self blame? Oh, oh and yeah. guilt that you would it feel. Would you oh, I'm like down. emotional thinking about it. Again, this like hypothetical situation has torn me up for the last two or three days because I'm like, oh, you know, like, yeah. what would I do? Yeah. Marcus, I have kids of his own. I'm finding that man. He's <laughs> like, he's like, that's it. That's all I'm going I've to do. I've been to therapy. Oh, no, I've yeah. worked through it. He's Good, like, I have, I have it. it. I yeah. have it. <laughs> One of my. Um, Y'all come visit me. Well, I'm trying to debate how I want to tell the story. I'm going to uh-huh. remove myself. So yeah. someone I know, yes, correct. Someone I know was in a like situation. They were on the phone with me and they were uh, in someone else. And they were in a situation across the country. And um, it was like rumbling going on in the background, like all this stuff. All of a sudden the phone hung up. I immediately was like, well, now I have to jump on a plane because right, I, I, need need I need to go out. But what was scarier is their parent was closer and got in a car to head to them. Mm-hmm. And I said, this might be the last time we see this person. Right. Because they, they, they might kill they, somebody and right, go to jail exactly. today. This yeah, is, yeah, yeah. And that type of like action that you feel yeah. inside of like, oh, I'm about to ruin my life. Mm-hmm. Because someone thought that they could try my child. Absolute. Absolutely. Oh, and yeah. We it's fully been... removed our child from a school just because I was like, see, the influence around you, I don't have enough control over. So you got to come up out of there. Yeah. Because I feel like I can't protect you from this. Yeah. yeah. And I'm I'm not I'm not gonna be okay. Yeah. I'm just not yeah. gonna be okay. Yeah. And I think that's why of course other kids don't know this, but adults need to know that. You need to understand that you are possibly dealing with a child who has a parent who's willing to throw their life away to protect their yeah. child. Yeah, yeah, Because yeah. I am more than willing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah. like right it's away. like, yeah, it's like, well, you know, okay, all yeah. the time. Give me double the time. It's fine. Yeah, it's all fine because it was all worth it. Yeah. yeah, it was all worth it. It's Absolutely. fine. It's fine. My child knows that I love them. And Let's set the example. Yeah. It won't happen again. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So uh, sometimes, I, as much as I love my kids, I'm like, w- it, it, am I mentally or emotionally strong enough to deal with the? Like, I can't imagine how you all are going to feel. Luckily, I mean, luckily and unluckily, your baby is only going up the street around the corner. Oh man, it's it's a it's a it's a better worse position for me. I am strongly like I strongly believe that your children should leave home. I think that they, especially like for us, we have a safety net for which our child will not go below. Mm -hmm. You have a safety net. So I have like three rules for my kids, like leave the house. And it's like, don't do nothing illegal. Don't die. Don't get nobody pregnant. Mm -hmm. Anything else I can fix. Literally. (laughs) You said Mm -hmm. I got everything else. Everything else I can fix. But go out and live your life. Find a new set of friends. Understand where you stand in religion. Understand where you stand with politics. Find uh, how you're going to navigate life. Be a responsible adult. Be accountable. Find a job. Hate a job and still have to go. Do all of the things because this is your time to do it and you have a safety net. Yeah. A lot of times people don't have, you're like, you're forced to leave the house yeah. because your mom and your daddy can't afford you. And you don't have that safety net. You have to figure it out. I'm like, go to college because this is adulthood on training wheels. Yeah, mm-hmm. We're going to yeah. be here. So right. go out, live your life. Like I feel very, very strongly about that. Mm-hmm. The fact that Isaiah is not leaving and he's just going up the street, I'm like, well, now you have to stay home. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it kind of swat. It yeah. flipped for me. I'm just like, I don't understand I why. Yeah, I don't understand why you think you have to have an apartment. If yeah. you're gonna stay here, stay yeah, here. This is a planet. Yeah, yeah, There's yeah. A gravitational pull. Yeah, yeah. Either you gone or you not. Correct. And that's, <laughs> honor, that's truly how I feel. Yeah. Leave and go like be an adult and figure it out and know that we're a safety net or keep your behind in that room. So I can make sure you get up in the morning and you go to school and I am going to force you to get a job because you shouldn't work for us. I need you to be accountable to somebody else. Mm -hmm. Like, I need you to go do that, but I need to know that you're doing it. So stay here. Now, if he would have went away, how do you think you would have dealt with that of him being like thousands of miles away? I would have been. So there's always two sides of me. Right. Uh So I would have been so happy to like, how'd your day go? What was that? Did Uh you get friends? Did you how was your professor? You do this. Make sure you do this. How can I see your like I would have been very much into that. And then like crying as things are happening. Right. Like sad that I'm not there. But again, I feel because I feel stronger that my kids should like our kids are coddled. Yeah. 
Our kids mm. are coddled. Mm. They are raised in a in a nest that is so much more protected than the nest that I was right. raised in. And I lived in a pretty like conservative protective nest. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, I don't and I'm raising men. Like go go out and be a man. Mm-hmm. Figure yeah. it out. Don't get with no woman that's gonna be like going back to your mama but no she he's not he can figure it out okay like I want that for my boys so bad so that side of me is like go uh-huh. and no you can you're always welcome home you'll never be without there's just a floor and mm-hmm. I feel secure in my floor that I'm like go go out go. Uh-huh. yeah that's how my parents was I was eager to leave the house that was like a decision I made like I need to get out I always knew that safety net was there, even though they, didn't nice. have, they never said it. Yeah. I always knew I could mm-hmm. go back to them. But that was one of those where it's like, what you mean you going to get a place with your friends? It's like, I mean, yeah, I need like, <laughs> why am I going to stay here? Like, I don't like that. Thinking back, I'm like, you dumbass. I don't like that. You should have stayed another year or two. Yes. Woman, did they say that to you, what you mean? Or no? No, they were just curious. They were just shocked that I was trying to, well, they wasn't shocked. But they were just like, why are you moving out? Why are you so quick to move um, out? That's how and I feel. I should have kept my ass there. Yeah. You were like, back, I, I want like, to be loud sexing in my own yeah. place. Oh, good. Your daddy knew why. Well, everybody left me, so I didn't have to. <laughs> <laughs> everybody left me. Hey, Kyle, you still there? Yes. Hmm. All right. <laughs> I went to college. My mother moved from the state of Kentucky. Like within three days of me moving into oh, my she dorm. She said, I'm outside. Yeah, the last one's said, done. I'm gone. My sister... Was the, like my sister Melissa had her own place, but she was in law school. Um, Daisy was there, but she had her own place. But I literally, I didn't have like a place to call home. I was, I truly was like, oh, so me moving to California while it was a big step, it wasn't that big. I was like, everybody else be going wherever the hell they want to go. Why am I worried about it? I don't know if I'm going to be able to, um, I don't think I'd be. I'm going to do very well with Marcus leaving. I'm going to encourage it, but I uh, I think the helicopter mom and me is only going to get worse, and I'm going to be flying out to that school all the time. Mm-hmm. May any event that seems like as though mama's here. What also makes it uh, crazy is that um, let's see that that just took the thought. Oh, Marcus doesn't mind it. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. My son does not mind my presence mm-hmm. in his space, mm-hmm. so that only encourages yeah. the foolery. Yes. When I'm yeah, when I show up to his school and he spots me, he runs towards Aww. me to give me a hug. Well, sir, then guess who's not going yeah, yeah. anywhere? Yeah. Yeah. I'll be here yeah, every day. Yeah. Yeah. As much yeah. as he don't mind us being around, he's also very independent. Yes, mm-hmm. so that's a plus. I don't know how these other three gonna fare out, but him, this is like if we told him, well, you you gotta go to school in New York, he'd be like, all right. Like, oh. <laughs> he wouldn't care one way or the we other. We thought that yeah. was Joe, but it's not. Although, Joe, I, you guys know I had this big plan for Isaiah, my niece, to go to NCAT. And then two years later, Joe was going to go. And then a year later, my nephew was going to go. And so I had this big plan that they were all going to be at the same school for like a year. That all mm-hmm. four won't be there together. Isaiah is not going. He's done. And so I was asking Joe last night, like, you know, what's your what's your plan? You still want to go to NCAT? He was like, yeah, um, you know, I still want to go. I said, what if Mariah drops out because she's two years older? That's my niece. And he was like, oh, that might change things. Ah. <laughs> so now I got to call literally on one of the things on my to-do list to call Mariah and ask her, so how, what's your plans? <laughs> <laughs> I need to understand. She I need to understand like baby. Way, what your plans are. My, oh, she's the sweetest. When I tell you, nothing brings me greater joy than all of our kids getting together. Mm-hmm. The cousins, they call themselves the cousins. Oh, my God. It just... It just warms my soul. It just <laughs> makes me so happy to see them all together. They were all together when we were in Atlanta. And I'm like, literally, you guys don't want to go to the same school? <laughs> He's still trying to get to that. Yeah, I like, told on. Isaiah, isn't this fun? Like, you're with your cousins. You guys can get your own place. Isaiah's like, mama. And he's literally like, you got to stop talking to me about this. I'm literally not going anywhere. I do want my own place, but I'm literally I'm not going anywhere. I would have if he just moved like a couple of hours, like San Diego. He thought about it. He literally, we I'm went to kidding. Vegas. No, for real. We went to Vegas for one of Joe's games a couple of weeks ago. Uh-huh. And he was like, UNLV, what if? I said, <laughs> said let's, talk. let's talk. Let's talk. No, I was upset. <laughs> oh, you want to go? To UNLV 
and an HBCU was on the table. Because <laughs> he's like, that's just a little 45 minute flight to get if back you to y'all. Get out of my face. Yeah, he's, t- he's thinking about the geological. Uh, yeah, he distance. don't want to go too, too far from y'all. And H- unfortunately, we are not near any HBCU. Nah, the yes. furthest west is like Oklahoma. Yes. yes. And then you might as well go to someplace better than uh, Oklahoma. Is the get on the face. Talk about some UNLV. No, you're not going there. That little Mariah, she looks, she came up to the table to speak. She was like, hi. And I was like, you graduating this year, right? And she's like, yeah. I said, you excited? She's like, mm-hmm. I said, where are you going to school? And she was like, A&T. My sorority sister who was beside me. Oh, no, not, it wasn't my sorority. It was uh, Quinn. Quinn was like, wait, she going, to <laughs> she going to college? She said, I thought you meant she was graduating eighth grade. That's how young that baby looked. Oh, did she? She looked like she might be going to high school. Oh, bless her. She's uh, a little, little, sweet little baby niece. <laughs> <laughs> She's just adorable. All the kids were born. My uh, Jason's son, Mariah, and Isaiah were all born the same year. So when they were younger, I used to call them like the three-year-olds, the five-year-olds, the six-year-olds. Oh, that's it's that March, yeah, yeah, May, and then Isaiah's birthday in August. And I'm just like... Don't you guys all want to go to yeah. school together? My, I don't understand this. Yeah, my family's like, yeah, everybody's born in clusters. Yes. <laughs> How y'all going to do all the graduations this year? Well, uh, we don't know. I kind of have a plan, but it's not fully fleshed out, to be completely because honest. Because somebody's not going to be out of school in time. Well, the other thing is the uh, vow renewal, certainly thereafter. Uh. So if, if you are going to get married i do not uh, i do not recommend having kids two years after you get married because your 20th year anniversary uh-huh. and the kids graduation is that the same time that's real dumb hey uh-huh. you know how calculated yeah. you have to be to be thinking and about that, that. that's what i'm telling you now <laughs> look for all y'all out there correct yeah. <laughs> if you still got time to plan plan better than me <laughs> plan better than me because this is dumb <laughs> okay so as you all can see per sure quality reality TV. Melissa. Oh. I'm going to start with you. Okay. If you could come up with the perfect reality TV oh. show, what would it be? First, would it be like like more like communal, like a Real Housewives, or do, would you, do you prefer competition? I know you seem to love rela- relationship-based. Yeah, okay. So, oh, because it was reality dating. No, reality dating or just reality TV show? Ask the question again. If you could come up with a perfect reality TV show. Okay, just reality TV. Okay. Yes. So my favorite reality TV shows are the Netflix-style, uh, like, reality competition shows. Those, so like, like social media, uh-huh. uh, com- um, social media, or what do they call them? Social experiments. Okay. So it would be something like... Uh, what the circle is or something. Um, what's the other one? The mole. Do you know the circle? Yeah, 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 yeah. I you, love those. I don't fully understand what you're trying to do on the circle. Explain that so I can understand exactly what you're trying to get. Okay, let me try to remember. You you got a good explanation, Joshua? I see you're no, thinking. I'm thinking. I'm remembering how it works. <laughs> she said, wait a minute, Courtney knows. What Go is for it? it. Did they? Oh, Courtney's been getting, trying yeah, to get cast in all the, reality, all, all the reality all the reality TV shows. <laughs> Okay, the circle is a social media experiment. Uh huh. Yes. That ain't the one I was thinking. Okay. You're trying to become the most popular, and you have um you have challenges uh-huh. and to become the influencer. And you don't have to actually be the person and you, you are. You don't have to actually be the person that you are. So if I think. Oh, if I go on as Miss Kev on stage, people are going to target me and vote me out. I can decide to be someone else. Okay. And then I pretend to be that person through the the activities uh-huh. and uh, you vote people out mm-hmm. based on like popularity. And then the person who wins, wins money. Okay. So it's really great because Tara Leisha was on that show. Right. I was about to say, well, I thought your friend was on yes, that show. Yes. Tara Leisha was on the show. It's really great because you start to understand like social dynamics. Mm-hmm. Um, it's also really great because I, there was one season where I think it was a guy who pretended to be a woman and there was like a makeup thing. Uh huh. And he was immediately outed. It was very immediate, like, thumbs off. He was trying to make a cake. And it was like, if you're telling me you're this, how come you can't do that? And so how do they shoot it and you not know it's the person? So everyone has individual rooms uh. and there's cameras in their rooms. And so they just will do like a, you know, a nine way screen so you can see what everyone's doing. Right. But I'm saying it like if he's trying to make a cake, 
Can't they see his hands or a man's hands? Maybe? No, no, no. We, the audience, can see, but I can't see what's going on in your room. You would just show the final product. Oh, and so you then, just take pictures yes, of the cake. Yes, and, okay. and then you're able to chat. And so you make alliances. Like, oh, I think Marcus is not who he says it is. Angel, uh, what do you think? So did his, did he, did his profession... Yes, yeah, so if I go on there, does that would like yes, got him caught? Yes. Okay. So okay. So if I'm like, like oh, you know, I'm you. a 50 year old man and I'm an electrician, and there's a competition where it's like, you know, we're gonna quiz you on the top five cars of 1993 or whatever, mm -hmm. and it's like, uh, you know, what was the top car? And I'm like, Honda Accord, and they're like, you know, Dodge Caravan. I don't know the answers, yeah. and they would be like, why didn't he know that when he said he's he a does. car expert? Okay. Yeah, that bad. don't make sense. So how would you implement this into your perfect okay, reality so show? Okay, so let me think about my re perfect reality TV show would be something dating based. It would probably be okay. some okay. some uh, love on stage virtual situation. Okay, okay. Right, where you would do those same competition, or not competition, but those dates that I had, mm -hmm. but maybe it's like blind. Oh, so I don't get to actually know almost like a love is blind, but maybe I wouldn't do quite love is blind or mm -hmm. is it love is blind? Yeah. Love yeah. in the pods. Yeah. yeah love in the pods. Yeah. I don't know. Something like that. I have to think about it a little bit more, but it would definitely be some sort of like reality based competition style virtual situation. I may actually just make it love on stage, to be honest, mm -hmm. because she said no I already sh created the perfect yeah, be reality because show no shade, no tea. Oprah has a show very similar to it on her network. Oh, it's like literally almost exactly the same. Right. Again, no shade, no tea. Yeah. But, yeah. Ain't the first time we've seen something mimicked after somebody in, That's our, true. in our group. That's mm -hmm. true. But I yeah, Marisha told me I was like, they did what? It'd be the exact <laughs> same. Uh, what uh, uh, what would yours be? I was sitting here trying to think. That's a good one because I feel like we giving out really good ideas to, for other people to do. Sure uh, <laughs> No, we can produce uh, mine. Um, I was sitting here thinking uh, to no surprise. I'm sure it would be something with people. Like let's say y'all even like dealing with something with working with your hands. Like it would be something different every week, and it'd be like okay, like it'd be something like fixing shit. Okay. But it uh -huh. would be, you know, whatever we done, that's what somebody's getting. Like, we're going to go somewhere, we're going to have a master mechanic, and we're going to find a random car. We're going to, y'all going to help us get this thing up and going, and that belongs to that person to give away. It's almost like nailed it. Yes. Kind of like nailed it. But, yeah, yeah, but are with, we supposed to be good or yes. no? Yes. Y'all don't have to be. Y'all just learning. Y'all just helping us or the master mechanic is telling y'all what to do to get this thing up and going. Oh, so the intention awful. is for it to actually Actually turn work. Out. Yes. Okay, so actually it's not work. nailed. Oh, it's not nailed. No, it's actually going to work. <laughs> and it could go from a car to something in somebody's house to anything. I would, I would we love might to be on the show go all, go all if it was like, allowable to suck. Yes. <laughs> yeah, no, it, it can definitely suck if it, yeah. if it does. We, we can even go to somebody fixing computers. This is like, well... Y'all gonna have to figure out this program. Here's the information. <laughs> I'm just gonna kind of walk y'all through it and let y'all figure it out, and just watch the chaos unfold. And yeah. that's it's almost be. like the cooking thing. That I we literally did. just thought that's actually the show we should do. The cooking thing. She said. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, so like just fixing that. Shit. Look, look, Josh is shaking his head. Okay, y'all, y'all, okay, listen, y'all, petition. Now he ain't gonna do it, but. Maybe we can. No, he's going to want to do it after it comes out. Uh, competition, a competition cooking show, the way that we did the... The muffins, the cinnamon the, rolls. Yeah, the mm -hmm. roll, cinnamon rolls is a freaking great idea. <laughs> oh, yeah. What was so good about we, that is it was just so random. Yes. Like, nothing was planned. It was just like, hell, she's got to do this. Let's help her. Hey, y'all, so promote. It. We can all, we can use, uh, we, even though we don't have recipes, but uh, we got friends with cookbooks. We could just yeah. be like, this is what we're making. All we get is the picture. Yes. <laughs> and now recreate it. Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> the yes. Picture, because the that's picture, the chaos. And yeah. your ingredients is there. It's just like, bet. Like, yeah. Bet. <laughs> bet. Um, my perfect reality TV show. I like communal reality TV shows. The only problem that I'm noticing is that because they've been happening for so long, the formula is too tight. Mm -hmm. And so it's just like expected. It's very much so just acted out where I feel like, the first few seasons of Real Housewives of Atlanta was like chef's kiss. Um, same thing with all the other ones, Orange County. So I would love something. The auto shows that I like, it's all the same formula. It's like, yeah, they I don't are want very care about a deadline that you're trying to meet. Yeah, so, I, so the ones that seem to actually do well are the ones where it's more so family-based. Because then that makes sense. It makes sense why you would still actually be like, 
going out to eat with your sister, even though y'all just cussed each other out right. because y'all are like family. Mm-hmm. So I think what I would love is like a a crime family drama, but they get immunity. But we get to see. Oh, what hmm. actually is the going on? Yeah, yeah, like the going on. So it's now feels more like, like it would be like power, but the actual real life power. And we're seeing all the stuff. I would tune in. Oh, my, wouldn't we? Because yeah. that's dangerous. It yeah. Is. Every week. Is you is or is you ain't going to die. <laughs> right. Right. Like that would be, I, I would love something where we get to really see the enterprise enterprising and find out how much Hollywood actually is glamorizing mm-hmm. the, or how much is like, oh, so we, yeah. what was I accurate on what was mm-hmm. happening? That would be something like that because these these now reality TV shows is like okay we're going to take a trip for sure you gotta call out this beef this person's going to talk about your for friend sure. and then you're going to call your friend and say so such and such said sure. this this and this for sure so it's just kind of like y'all yeah, what of the, what reality shows out there right now that aren't copying the same formula that's been done over and over. Most only one I could think of was like maybe I don't know what they were doing on their Duck Dynasty back in the day. It's because it's family. Yeah, the, even the Kardashians, the they they are as much as they can be annoying. Their reality TV show actually a lot of times is entertaining because it's family yeah, based. It's new generation, but even yeah. it's very uh, it was it called West Coast Choppers, Orange County Choppers, where they was building mm-hmm. the motorcycles. It started off as one shop, then the sun branched off, and then they started feuding and beefing. And it made for good, even though they still found a way to mix in the deadline. Yeah. You got to beat the deadline. Oh, it's always the deadline, and everything always comes out perfect. Like, that gets boring after yeah. a while. Yeah, I agree. Um, I think that's why Vanderpump rules this last season. Everybody was so tuned in. Even I'd never heard the show a day in my life before last season. Mm-hmm. But it was because of the reality of he cheating on her with they been the real thing. fiance yeah. in real life mm-hmm. with her, and they was friends. Yeah. Oh, what's going to happen? Yeah. That type of real, you can't, like, storyline that out. Yeah. That's yeah. just real life. That's why the Braxtons did so the well. Braxton. The only problem I have with reality family-style show, it be tearing up families. It can't. This is really why I don't want it to be, like, marriages. You got to be blood-related. Yeah. Because yeah, one thing a reality TV show is gonna do is gonna tear apart your marriage. They just hundred percent. They you not. It's gonna even if y'all stay together, y'all not the same. Correct. And y'all got to like reveal. To, yeah, y'all got to try to hold on to each other harder. So like things even that are working. You, even if you go in with a plan, eventually. You, Everybody you get it. We got a plan until they get enough. punched in the like, face. Yeah. <laughs> Even Mary Mary, their reality TV show was amazing. I missed not near an episode. Near an episode. And then when that cheating scandal happened, it was like, we need to end this now. <laughs> they <laughs> said, okay, people. This is done. But even, I didn't even need that. I loved the the natural fun intention that was happening between Erica and Tina with Tina being like, girl, I want to focus on my family. And sure Erica enough. being like, I'm trying to be a superstar. Sure enough. And Google being like, y'all trying to get me to style y'all in the last two hours before. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. That's that I enjoyed. That's good, healthy falling out and figuring out the And coming back together. Yeah, versus yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, mm. the, the the stuff that you can't come back yeah, from, yeah. and you realize actually now how toxic it is with as many people that are leaving. Uh, uh, reality TV style, Candy leaving. Yeah. Um, what's her name? I heard Robin Dixon may be leaving. Okay, and uh, what's the real cute girl from Potomac? Brown skin with uh, has the best fashion sense. Married to that white dude. Oh 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 oh, she's a singer. Yes. Um, Candace, Candace, it That's is Candace. Candace. Okay, uh-huh. um, I love her. I think she has the cutest style. But anyway, sh- love her in the way that I love people. You know, I don't really watch the show. I love her style. Um, they said no, Diddy. Yeah, yeah, because you know, I don't know her. Like, I don't want y'all coming at me. She, I don't really know. I just think she has cute no, stuff. Thank you, right. love her. no, Diddy. Yeah, <laughs> um, she, uh, she. I heard she's leaving the show. Or maybe she made the announcement. Either way, you just realize it's like mentally. Yeah, it's taxing. Taxing. Yeah. Because you have to sign up for the toxic situation. And knowing it's good. We're not here for like rainbows and sunshine. Right. We're no. Not, that's not and if you you're not think. funny, like you can usually get away without being toxic if you are funny. If you uh, can make people laugh, and a lot of them aren't. They're only funny or like worth watching when they're dragging somebody. And so if you can't if you can't yeah. figure out a way to be like, but don't chink, mm-hmm. it's over yeah. for you. That's why scripted yeah. reality shows are always the funniest. Because yeah. they brought the yeah, Did you guys watch Traders? That's another no. social competition reality show that's freaking uh, fantastic. I might try to give it a whirl this weekend. Well, um, 
if, if for the last whatever amount of time we have of this um, actual show series, if you all know of any reality TV shows that fit the description of what we say we enjoy, recommend that. You want to watch a reality TV show? Mm-mm. I don't know of one coming out anytime soon, though. I mean, all of the ones we've ever done have been reality. Yeah, we've never yeah. done any. I mean, we tr- I mean we tried to do Insecure, but I'm saying if if there's a show that they find out, oh my god, we might like that. Yes, those the, are the audience same. recommended Traders. It's good. Okay, we'll tr- get, give an episode to try and see what it's what That's it be good. like. Imagine Werewolf as a TV show. Yes, That's y'all, y'all did talk. About. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. we need to do that. So, thank you so much. Bye. Bye.